Hey guys, this is your how to tutorials and today I am going to show you how you can write some equations in latex some basic equation uh, actually I am going to make part wise of this series for the equations so this is the first part for the equation series actually equation is the very long topic in the latex so I am going to do like part wise part in a couple of weeks to complete this series so this is a part one and you will learn in this part pretty basic steps like uh, a square plus b square plus 2ab like some of the fractions some of the ratio proportionals and square roots whole square sine theta and some trigonometric function as well so let's right jump into it and start with some basic operators like plus minus multiplication division so let's start so here we are if, if you want to learn from the beginning just uh, make a new document and in the document in the preamble section actually first write the document class in and in that section just insert the article and after that just you have to begin the document you do not have to do any extra things just you have to begin the document and actually it's a huge in the huge keyword which is used for the bigger text so you can use this or not just i am going to uh, i used for the tutorials so that's you can see easily so i'm gonna firstly start with the some operators and uh, so in the latex just for writing any equation so you have to start with the dollar sign and end with dollar sign as well and in between the dollar signs you have to put the equations like suppose i'm going to write 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 so i have to write 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 so it will just write 4 plus 2 you do not have to worry about the spaces between the text just uh, you can insert spaces or not it will just ignore that spaces so if i have just uh, inserted four or five spaces between equals to and say so latex will ignore all the spaces and go with only one space so it's your choice for the sake of visibility i am going to put one space between eight letters and or each digits so it will be more clearly visible and now for the subtraction just to go with 4 minus 2 equals to 2 and put the dollar sign again so they will like and to line change the line and if you do not uh, put any line break or changing line command it will just write the equation in the same line again and again so you have to use double slash it actually break the line so now it will put the second equation in the second line and again you have to put double backslash and it will break the line and again if you want to write product like 4 into 5 is equals to 20 so here you can see it's not a product sign so you have to use a which is called times in the latex so now you will see the times which is cross which is sign of multiplication or if you want dot like uh, using the vector like 4 dot 5 so c dot is a command for the dot and you can use use this in the equation i will 4 dot 5 is equal to 20 so i have to do so for the division you have to use the command d d which is a command in latex used for the division sign and similarly you already seen that times is used for the cross or multiplication c dot c dot is used for the dot product d which is for division and again now if you want to write some exponential terms like you want to write a square plus b square so caps again and if you want like 2ab is equals to a plus b and then you will get like this 
that's it guys for this video and in the next tutorial in the next video i'm gonna show you how you can use some command for the fraction and a square root and etc so stay tuned and thank you for watching see you in the next one hey if you want to learn latex just subscribe to this channel and i'm currently learning the latex so i'm gonna put video at least one video a day so stay tuned and see you in the next thank you